I'm going to show how a company can use Brand Folder as a digital asset management system and Mobile Locker as a sales enablement platform for their sales team. On the left, I have a Brand Folder instance. On the right, I have a Mobile Locker instance. I'm going to scroll down to the Playground section, and I'm going to select a couple documents that are now approved to be sent to the sales team so that they can use them when they're meeting with customers. I'm going to highlight those files. I'm going to move them to a section called Mobile Locker. And you're going to see these files appear in Mobile Locker. They're going to be processed. First, they're in draft mode. And then they'll turn active. Those pieces of content are now available to, in the Mobile Locker iOS app, Windows app, Mac app, and Android app. So if a sales rep is out in the field, they have immediate access to those pieces of content if they're in the groups that have access to that content. So I'm going to pull up an iPad here. I'm going to open the Mobile Locker app. You can see that I now have access to those four files. So, if a new piece of content gets approved and needs to be published to the sales team, let's say this, this file is ready. We're going to move it to the Mobile Locker section. It's going to appear in Mobile Locker. And then let's say the rep was out in the field and they open their iPad at some point later in the day. Mobile Locker is going to check that there's a new piece of content available, and there it is. So then if the rep needs to show it to somebody or meet with somebody, they can open that file. And once it's downloaded, that means it can work offline. So they could be in airplane mode, they could be in a factory where they don't have Wi-Fi access, and those files are on their iPad in Mobile Locker, and they can be shared out. So if I'm presenting a piece of content to a customer, I can share this piece of content with somebody via email. Press the share button, type in their email address, and Mobile Locker is going to send a trackable link to that person. I'll pause so I can show you what the email looks like. The recipient received an email which looks like this. Mind you, this email can be completely customized to the client. It's going to have all of the Sonata branding, colors, etc. This is just the default template. When the recipient clicks this view file button, it opens that file in a special viewer. This viewer is, is recording who's looking at the file, when they looked at it, and it's capturing analytics about which pages the user is on, the recipient is on. So if I go back to Mobile Locker and I refresh this screen, as, a, as the sales rep, I received a notification that my prospect just opened the file. And you can see that I can track and see exactly how much time they've spent on the file. If I refresh this, it says they've spent 10 seconds so far. Now it's 25 seconds. If this was a multi-page PDF, I would see a list of all the pages they spend time looking at. So if this is a 10-page PDF file, I can see that which pages are attracting the most attention. Here's an example of a PDF we've sent out to prospects over several months. You can see on the right, if Mobile Locker is recorded, how much time has been spent on each individual page. If I want to figure out if anybody's ever going to page 10 of this PDF file or page 11, I can look in here and see that 7% of the visitors of the time spent have been on page 11, 78 minutes total, and it's been viewed 130 times. If I want to see what piece of, what, which page of the content is getting the most interaction organized by time spent, and obviously page 1 would have the most interaction, but page 7, 9, 11, and 13 all have a lot of interaction, probably because they have a lot of text. This can help inform marketing of which specific pages of a piece of content are engaging the customers. So it's not only capturing this at an aggregate level, you can also drill down to either identified visitors, people you've emailed and sent this file via email, or anonymous visitors if you link to this file from a, a Facebook page or from a, from a website where you're not capturing your email address. If I want to drill in and see identified users, I can then drill down and, for example, I'll look at my account because I've looked at this file a lot. Mobile Locker not only captured information about the person's name, but we also went out to third-party sources and found his job title, the company he works for, and his LinkedIn profile, and his Gravatar image. You can see that he's viewed this file 23 times. He spent 31 minutes looking at it, and I can actually drill into each individual time he opened it. So, for example, on February 12th, Mr. Stralka opened the file for six minutes and he spent a lot of time looking at page 20. What's on page 20? Well, page 20 talks about how we can help. So if I were the sales rep who had sent this file to somebody and he spent a lot of time looking at this page, 
the next time I call him, I know what to ask him about. And I know what to talk about because I know he was really engaged in this page and also in this page. So it helps me um, craft the conversation to be most relevant for them. So that's some of the analytics that Mobile Locker provides. Going back to the system and back to the app, now because the, the rep has this out in the field, if the marketing team makes a change to the Sonata destinations template, they can either make that change in brand folder or that change can be made in mobile locker because maybe there's some content that the team is, the company is using that is not in brand folder. Well, they can upload content directly into mobile locker too. Mobile locker and content can be a PDF, Word file, interactive HTML, YouTube videos, etc. Any kind of content can be pulled in and instantly made available to the reps. If a piece of content needs to be deactivated so it's no longer available, an administrator would just log in and press deactivate. And then the next time the rep opens the mobile locker app, that piece of content, that BAMF travel brochure, just disappears from the app. At no time can a rep ever have access to a piece of content they're not supposed to have access to. If we reactivate it and the person opens the app again, that file is made available to them again. They have to re-download it because it was deleted from their iPad, but it's made available again. So that's how you can control groups, access permissions, updates, and make it very easy for when a rep is in a selling situation, they have the content they need and only the content they need available to them. That's one of the benefits of showing how the integration between Mobile Locker and Brand Folder could work. Thank you.